Cheers, I do buckaroos. How the heck are you? <laughs> it is quarantine day, whatever the hell. I don't keep track now. <laughs> Does it even matter what day it is at this point? Quarantine, self-isolation, whatever this is. Uh, COVID-19 vacation, whatever, whatever, whatever posterity will refer to this particular. Oh, sorry, my nose is reaching. Uh, I'm outside, man. I'm trying to fire up my grill. We had a... Had some odd weather, been hot, been cold. Uh, had some, uh, like yesterday for instance, had some thunderstorms and it warmed up, got nice, and we had some th thunderstorms again. But today is all nice. So I thought I'd use that opportunity to get my grill cleaned up, or I'm working on it anyway. I'm gonna, uh, put a fire in there, get it nice and cleaned out. A burnout fire, I call it. I've been sit for a while. I don't like to just throw food on there. I want to. I get. A, I always get a fire on there. Get it cleaned out. Uh, clean the grates good. Uh, but hopefully I can get that done because I do want to. I uh, want to smoke some chicken. I'm not gonna choke it. I'm just gonna smoke it, man. So this is my last promotion. So I picked this up last weekend. It's in their breakfast uh, pack. It came with well, it's supposed to be 32 ounces, 32 ounce crowlers of this. Uh, they're. Uh, their coffee amber ale and uh, their, their snooze French toast pastry. But instead it came with two pint cans, which is better. I'm not complaining, it's better. It's the same amount, but I only, because 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 they packed it this way, I didn't have to drink 32 ounces of everything. I only had to pop one can, so I got a can of each left, man. Uh, but it's not really weather for a coffee amber for me or a French toast pastry, but it is weather for this Mimoski. This is a 7.4% IPA. Um, it, it's big and fruit juicy, it's just not a hazy, so it has, it has the components of a hazy without being a hazy, if that makes sense to you. They call it a Midwest IPA. It, it tastes a lot like what a lot of folks refer to around here as a Midwest Coast IPA. Because it also has components of, of, of a West Coast. Where you have a combination of the citrus and tropical fruit like notes. Losing control of my hair today, man. <laughs> Once again, does it really matter? Yeah, I was out of charcoal, so I decided to get out of the house briefly and pick some up. And picked up some meat. I'm gonna smoke some chicken later, do some barbecue chicken. I'm looking forward to a lot of days like this because I got a lot of food, so I can't do this. <laughs> uh, the charcoal and wood selection is slim, so you know, I, about a week ago, I guess, I, I called uh, uh, Academy Sports because uh, they have the best selection of wood around here. Uh, but they're only allowed to sell firearms, or a sporting goods store. I, I just, it, I don't care how many guns somebody owns. I don't care if they want to buy guns. That's not, not my gripe. My gripe is what some folks want to deem as essential. Uh, folks might need sneakers. <laughs> they might need some apparel that Academy Sports has. They also might need some freaking outdoor equipment, man. Uh, they, they, again, they carry a large selection of, of, of charcoal and lump charcoal, uh, briquettes and lump, I guess I should say. And they carry varied sizes of wood. So when most stores don't. So I was a little frustrated by that, that the store that I typically buy most of my wood from is only allowed to sell firearms, which makes no frickin' sense whatsoever. I mean, other stores are allowed to sell wood and charcoal, so why aren't they? I mean, if, if we're being allowed to, to buy it somewhere else, why can't they sell it where they have it? It just It's just plain frickin' ignorance. But, hey, that's our government, man. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Here we are, man. Anyway, cheers. The hard way from Studebaker job. <laughs> I didn't time that. It just kind of worked out that way. Uh, Studebaker John the Hawks. Uh, playing, uh, if you can hear that, on Beer Whisper Radio. Yeah, this does have certain components of, of a hazy and certain components of a West Coast. Which why you know you that, that Midwest Coast kind of thing going on, but yeah, you get a, a lot of big citrus notes, a lot of sweet citrus right away, and then you feel um, more tart, and in the finish, you certainly feel a combination of, of, of orange, tangerine zest, and uh, maybe a little grapefruit in there as well. But yeah, I mean, some some pineapple certainly comes into play at some point.
Uh, we've had some thunderstorms and uh, some stuff from the trees, so my grill's an absolute mess. So what I what I like to do is I, I get a fire in there and get it nice and hot, and it's easier to clean. Clean it all down, shine her up, and then if I've got time, I'll put some chicken on the smoke. Chicken doesn't take a, you know, a long time. It's not like putting a brisket on or even a pork butt. You know, I don't need 12 hours. And, and what I've got is this uh, boneless, skinless pieces of uh, of leg and thigh meat. So that'll, you know, I'll, I can smoke that up quickly. I don't even necessarily like to finish that. I just want to get some smoke on there. I can always finish it inside if necessary. Uh, the, the wood selection was rather slim. Uh, <laughs> I picked up some, I, I prefer chunks, right? So I picked up some hickory chunks, but I also picked up some uh, uh, cherry wood. Uh, we're blank on what you call it, but you know, the pieces. <laughs> As a first beer, man, uh, maybe my brain will kick in after a couple of these. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I thought I'd start with this one today, uh, and then I'm gonna go to the lighter stuff after this. But I had this one left, and it's really the, the perfect. I like to have beers at the perfect time. Right? <laughs> I've got a nice day, the sun's shining on me. I'm in my in the beer garden, uh, my backyard. Uh, I got my coals getting warm. So I thought it was that once I got that going, I thought, well, I'm going to sit down and relax and have a beer for a quarantine day, whatever. <laughs> Self-isolation, who knows? Well, you know, uh, it's not exactly self-isolation because we were asked to do this. So I don't know. There's you know, a lot of folks take umbrage to call it a quarantine. I mean, I don't care. I think some people just want to get their panties in a bunch over nothing. I mean, it's, it's kind of semantics at this point. Uh, <laughs> Got some anime gums. Uh, anyway, uh, what, what, I mean, we've been asked to do this, so here we are. Well, we're not exactly asked, but anyway, I'm being kind. But we can complain about it or make the most of it. So I'm going to try to make the most of it. When so it's time to go back to work, I'll go back to work. really miss my job, I gotta tell you. I, I, it's kind of nice being home with the time of my wife and uh, cats, uh, even though I think the cats are ready for me to go to <laughs> She thinks I'm spending way too much time in my chair. <laughs> Get your fat ass up. It's my time. <laughs> she thinks we had a contract that she gets a chair during the day and I can have it after five. It's been a little different lately. She doesn't really like sharing a chair. The other day I was outside and I came back in. She was all curled up in a chair, and I walked up, and she just lifted up, and she was all curled up in one corner of the chair, and she lifted her head up and looked at me, and went, meow, and put her head back down. I don't think she said anything nice. It could have been, really? It could have been some bitch. <laughs> anyway, I didn't have the heart to make her move after that point, and I went and sat in another chair. Hey, you got it. <laughs> She's like, I'm comfortable, damn it. Anyway, uh, anyway, I digress. It's one of those rambling videos I'm talking about the beer, but it's not necessarily a review of the beer. One reason I don't like to refer to myself as a reviewer, because that's not really what I do. And my wife came out in the backyard, too. She's uh, messing with her garden, but she always puts her, she's got little headphones in. Uh, sometimes she, she usually listens to a book. Sometimes she listens to music, but she's not into music like I am. I've never known a family that's not into music, but her whole family's that way. Her mom hates music. First time when we first started dating, we went to a picnic, and I, we always brought a radio. My family would go to a picnic, we always had some music. And uh, I kind of got chastised by the whole damn family for wanting to put music on. So what kind of family goes to a picnic and doesn't bring a radio? I just, I mean, I, I just couldn't believe it. It just seemed asinine beyond all reason to me. <laughs> but now she hates music. Her mom, her mom hates music. Of course, so there ain't a whole lot that woman does like. <laughs> The only thing she likes is to complain. Likes to whine and piss and moan about every damn thing. I was happy as hell when she finally moved the hell out of our house. <laughs> that woman is just pure freaking evil. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, go ahead and tell her I don't care. She doesn't like me anyway. <laughs> there is nothing good or decent about that woman. I swear to goodness. 
Uh, anyway, uh, Mimoski. <laughs> Mimoski IPA. Zion Timber Brewing, Springfield, Missouri. Uh, it's, it's outstanding. The, the only, uh, uh, it's not a complaint, but uh, an observation I will make. I mean, it, 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 it's listed as 7.4, and uh, that, that's kind of dangerous because this, this really is one, if it, if it was available in, in 12 ounce bottles or cans, I mean, it's one that you could pound. It, it, it's just, especially on a day like this, it's one you can knock back quickly. And that 7.4 is going to gonna come at you because, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just absolutely delicious. It, it, it is the, the quintessential summer IPA. It's absolutely great. Anyway, anyway, I've rambled on enough. I am Dumb to Bear, Mr. Beer Evangelist. Prolific beer drinker, perverse demand. All rugged guy. Cheers, man. I hope you're all getting by. Paid for your dinner last night. Paid your telephone bill.